Doncaster Rovers entertain Chesterfield at the Keepmoat Stadium, trying to end their winless home run which stretches back to March. It was Rovers who got off to a great start. Rhys Wabara put in a brilliant cross for Nathan Tyson, who was denied with his first attempt, but prodded home the rebound. Doncaster doubled their lead in the 32nd minute. Richie Wellens teed up Kyle Bennett, who smashed the ball into the back of the net via the crossbar. Chesterfield pulled a goal back just before the break. The impressive Daniel Johnson had his shot superbly tipped onto the post by Jed Steer, but he couldn't prevent Samuel Klukas from tapping home. In the second half, Rovers captain James Coppinger almost extended Doncaster's lead, but his effort cannoned off the crossbar. However, Rovers were not to be denied. From the resulting corner, Coppinger's header was brilliantly saved by Tommy Lee, but Rovers defender Jamie McComb was on hand to give Doncaster a 3-1 lead. Chesterfield thought they had pulled a goal back through substitute Armand Nandue. However, his effort was ruled out for offside. Nandue was then presented a fantastic opportunity just before the hour mark to reduce Rovers lead, but he could only fire his effort over the crossbar. The visitors did pull a goal back though. Moments later Owen Doyle netted his seventh goal in three games for the Spy Rights. Johnson had a great chance to level the scores. He broke through and cut inside superbly, but the 21 year old on loan from Aston Villa couldn't find the target. In the dying minutes Rovers could have been awarded a penalty as Coppinger was bundled over. However, play continued. Chesterfield failed to clear and Paul Keegan's shot was blocked before Theo Robinson fired over. The win for Rovers gives Paul Dickoff his first home victory of the season and ends a run of three league matches without a win.